Hello students, today let's discuss about the Galactoria. So what exactly is Galactoria? Galactoria is production of milk from a female who is unrelated to childbirth. Now let's write the definition. So definition of Galactoria is production of milk from a female who is unrelated to childbirth okay now before going to discuss about the pathologies associated with the galactoria let's discuss why exactly a female who is not conceived and who is not related to childbirth why she is not producing milk okay now we are discussing a sequence of events which are happening in a female who is not conceived and who is not related to childbirth okay in these females in a female who is not pregnant okay in this female what exactly is happening why she is not producing milk now the hypothalamus the hypothalamus in this female is going to produce a hormone known as a prolactin inhibiting factor which is thought to be dopamine so the dopamine is getting released from the hypothalamus now this dopamine where it come where it will come it will reach the anterior pituitary it will reach the anterior pituitary when the prolactin inhibiting factor reaches the anterior pituitary now in the anterior pituitary we are having different different groups of cells okay different different types of cells are there in the anterior pituitary for example lactotropes are there thyrotropes are there somatotropes are there corticotropes okay now different different types of cells are present in the anterior pituitary when this prolactin inhibiting factor is reaching the anterior pituitary in the anterior pituitary there are lactotropes lactotropes see there are lactotropes which are usually present in the anterior pituitary what is the function of lactotropes lactotropes produce prolactin okay usually the function the assigned function of lactotropes is to release a prolactin but see remember when prolactin inhibiting factor which is dopamine when it is reaching the anterior pituitary it acts on this prolactin inhibiting factor it acts on lactotropes negatively okay so lactotropes under the inhibition of dopamine they are not going to synthesize prolactin so prolactin will not be released in a normal female so whenever there is no prolactin whenever there is no prolactin no milk production okay why a female who is not related to childbirth is not producing any milk why because her hypothalamus is secreting dopamine this dopamine negatively inhibits the lactotropes so that lactotropes are not going to produce prolactin okay now after getting pregnancy what actually happens see when a female gets pregnant or after the delivery of the child what exactly happens means in her body the female's body the dopamine levels goes down so dopamine levels decreases so whenever there is no dopamine the negative inhibitory action of this dopamine on the lactotropes is lost now the lactotropes 
do not have the dopaminergic inhibition so lactotropes are now free to release the prolactin now these lactotropes are producing the prolactin so what happened guys now this female produces the milk okay this is what physiologically happens in a female who is not conceived and a female who is conceived okay so one important point which you should never miss especially for our exams dopamine okay inhibits the production of prolactin okay this is a super important point now guys remember try to understand this prolactin is the one which helps in the production of milk okay dopamine is inhibiting dopamine is inhibiting the prolactin now whatever the reason doesn't matter if the dopamine levels in the body decreasing it doesn't matter whatever the reason if the dopamine levels are going down in the body what happens even before pregnancy what happens now this prolactin production will be seen in the body of a female when the prolactin production is seen in the body of a female what happens now she is producing the milk this is what exactly is happening in galactoria okay a female who is not conceived but still producing milk why she is producing because in her body there is a decrease of production of dopamine or there is one more possibility there is increase production of prolactin pathologically there is more production of prolactin now let's see what are the conditions which are causing hyperprolactinemia okay let's see cause of hyper prolactinemia if there is too much amount of prolactin the too much amount of prolactin even in a female who is not conceived this prolactin will helps in the production of milk leading to galactoria so what i am trying to put in your mind hyperprolactinemia will lead to galactoria okay now let's see why there is hyperprolactinemia why for example this hyperprolactinemia might be due to tumor in anterior pituitary especially prolactinomas which are microadenomas okay now we know in the anterior pituitary we are having lactotropes for example if these lactotropes forms a tumor now these lacto what is the function of lactotropes production of prolactin if there is a prolactinoma there is a too much production too much amount of prolactin this too much amount of prolactin will helps in the milk production even in a female who is not conceived leading to galactoria okay now what are the causes of hypoprolactinemia the very very important cause of hypoprolactinemia is prolactinomas okay which are microadenomas producing too much amount of prolactin now let's see what are the other causes of hyperprolactinemia guys prolactin is kept inhibited or lactotropes are kept inhibited because of dopamine for example if i am decreasing the levels of dopamine in my body or if i am blocking the receptors of dopamine what happens the lactotropes are now released from the inhibitory effect of dopamine so drugs like anti psychotics okay drugs like anti psychotics which are dopamine receptor blockers okay dopamine receptor blockers okay 
these drugs for example let me give you some examples haloperidol resperidone okay metoclopramide domperidone okay haloperidol and risperidone these are antipsychotic group of drugs metoclopramide and domperidone they are especially git motility drugs okay now these are also having you know dopamine receptor antagonistic activity now rapamil okay which is a calcium channel blocker and methyl dopa okay now these drugs like you know especially the first two are antipsychotic antipsychotic drugs okay now these drugs which i have shown even these drugs they may either block the receptors of dopamine or they can sometimes even decreases the synthesis of dopamine so at the end the dopamine receptors are blocked whenever the dopamine receptors are blocked what happens the lactotropes are released from the negative inhibitory effect of dopamine now they are producing the prolactin so it causes hypoprolactinemia and that will leads to galactoria okay so this is one more cause for the too much production of prolactin so what else will be the causes of galactoria in a female or i can say that prolactinemia causing galactoria okay hypothyroidism hypo thyroidism okay please remember it's the hypothyroidism not hyperthyroidism see whenever the person is having especially primary hypothyroidism what happens guys the t3 t4 levels are low whenever the t3 t4 levels are low the negative feedback for the hypothalamus is decreasing why because t4 gives the negative feedback so whenever there is low levels of this t3 t4 thyroid hormones the negative feedback to the hypothalamus is getting decreased now hypothalamus what exactly it's doing hypothalamus now in this condition hypothalamus now it's going to produce trh thyrotropin releasing hormone now this thyrotropin releasing hormone it comes to the anterior pituitary guys remember what are the types of cells which are present in anterior pituitary in the anterior pituitary we have thyrotropes lactotropes somatotropes gonadotropes corticotropes there are different different types of cells are there normal thyroid releasing hormone trh it should act on thyrotropes so that thyrotropes will be producing tsh and that tsh will be stimulating the thyroid gland for the production of t3 t4 but in a patient of hypothyroidism as there is low levels of t3 t4 hypothalamus is making too much amount of trh this trh will be coming to anterior pituitary and stimulating thyrotropes no doubt it stimulates thyrotropes but this trh is also having a function of stimulating lactotropes okay now at high concentration this trh will stimulate the production of a prolactin okay now these lactotropes will produce prolactin and this prolactin is the one going to cause galactoria okay now this prolactin will cause the galactoria in the patient so hypothyroidism is associated with hyperprolactinemia and leading to galactoria now after this let's continue now what are the other reasons why they can be hyperprolactinemia and galactoria cause number 4 is pituitary stock section
okay pituitary stock section sectioning of the pituitary stock guys remember this is hypothalamus okay let's understand the concept this is hypothalamus now this hypothalamus is in connection with the pituitary gland so i am showing you here anterior pituitary in the anterior pituitary i am only highlighting the lactotropes okay now guys please concentrate hypothalamus is producing dopamine we know it dopamine which is a prolactin inhibiting factor this dopamine it is going to reach the anterior pituitary via the pituitary stalk and this dopamine will act on the lactotropes so that now lactotropes are not producing any prolactin but if there is a trauma and this trauma leads to the sectioning of the pituitary stalk the pituitary stalks is get dissected now what happens hypothalamus it producing it produces the uh, dopamine but this dopamine is not coming into anterior pituitary okay the anterior pituitary is not receiving this dopamine from the hypothalamus so what happens automatically this lactotropes when it's not receiving the dopamine these lactotropes now they will get activated now these lactotropes they will produce prolactin and this prolactin will cause galactoria okay this is the one more cause for galactoria next what are the other causes for hyperprolactinemia the cause number 5 for hyperprolactinemia is chronic renal failure how chronic renal failure can cause hyperprolactinemia see if the kidneys are not functioning the prolactin is not getting excreted out of the body so it cause accumulation too much accumulation of the prolactin in the body that causes hyperprolactinemia and this hyperprolactinemia will cause galactoria okay but this is a very rare event okay now after discussing the causes let's discuss about the treatment treatment of hyperprolactinemia see if you want to treat the galactoria first you need to correct hyperprolactinemia okay we know if we give dopamine remember theoretically speaking if we give dopamine that dopamine will go and inhibit prolactin so we'll be using drugs which are similar to dopamine or dopamine agonists what is the drug of choice guys what is the drug of choice for treating hyperprolactinemia anyone if you are saying it as cabagolin you are absolutely true the drug of choice for treating hyperprolactinemia is cabagolin okay so cabagolin is the drug of choice for treatment of hyperprolactinemia but the second line drugs you can use is the bromo cryptin okay so bromocryptine can also be used but this is a second line agent the best tolerated agent without a less side effects is the cabagolin okay so we have discussed all the important topics okay related to galactoria in a, a female thank you